Hello Aries, I hope you're doing great. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing? On their soulmate journey. Extra message. Let's see. Wow. Whew. Yeah, this is you feeling like your relationship is on the rocks with your soulmate. Like there are some significant issues and you're scared of discussing it. It's like you don't know how to approach the situation how to address it, but you feel communication will need to happen. You feel like this relationship is on the rocks. It's ending. Yeah. You've been very patient with them. You guys approach relationships from such different angles. They don't communicate well with you for some reason. It's like you're scared to approach them with communication. Yeah, look, I just looked on the bottom of the deck. They're showing up as proud emperor. This person likes to be stoic. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's see. Universe, please show us <clears throat> what's coming up for Aries. And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you worry a lot. This is you having a lot on your plate, worrying excessively to a point where it's disturbing your sleep, your rest. This is you not sleeping well, worrying excessively. You see, you are holding on to that pillow at night, not sleeping, just worrying, worrying excessively, overanalyzing. They don't really communicate with you that much because there's four swords above you. And you don't want to fight. You don't want to argue. You still love this person. But you feel like the two of you are just going separate ways. This is not something that just happened overnight or over a week or a month. It's been kind of brewing for a while. Yeah, you, sometimes you feel so frustrated. You really want to approach them, clear the air with them. Hmm. You really want to save this relationship, though. Yeah, you still love this person, but you don't feel there is enough to hold the two of you together. The cups are empty. You see this? So even though you feel you still love each other, you feel like there's not enough to hold this relationship together. Yeah, this is you guys don't communicate effectively in this relationship. You see all those swords. Hmm, you feel like you might have to let them go. They are absorbed in work. You see this? It's like they have relationship with their job. It's like at times it feels like they are married to their job. You see this? Yeah, look, this is their work. This is them thinking about business, work. <clears throat> Not really paying enough attention to your needs or what you are trying to say. Wow, you you really are trying to do everything in your power to make this relationship work, to please them, to make them feel safe. But you feel like maybe it's not enough for them. Hmm. Wow, Aries, you're going through a lot. This has been going on for a while. It's just like it's coming to its point where something has to give in. Universe, please show us. 
what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you feel like it's ending death for the second time, meaning the end of a uh, relationship. In a way, you feel that maybe if this relationship ends, you, you're going to feel liberated. You guys have uh, so lessons to learn from each other. So you guys have specific lessons that you agreed to learn from each other in this relationship. This is a serious relationship. Yeah, this traditionally speaking talks of marriage, but it could also mean engagement, living together. You see, this is very important relationship to you and them as well. Um... Hmm. Let me see what's going on. What's on their mind? Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. Ouch. Yeah. So this time the the um, bigger tarot deck is showing up uh, as the King of Pentacles. <clears throat> we just heard minutes ago. Uh, from smaller tarot deck. <clears throat> so sometimes this person feels like they are failing um, at their work or business or whatever they do. And sometimes they feel like they're not failing. This is them having a lot of confusion, not sure what to do. Somehow I think work, uh, their work is kind of coming between the two of you in this relationship. You know, please show us. Hmm. It's like they put more importance on their work than they do on this relationship for some reason. You know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries that Aries has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? Let's see. They do love you. Yeah, they do. You see this? They feel enormous spiritual, emotional connection with you. Yeah, you see, this has been brewing for a while. This this didn't just happen overnight where the two of you are facing problems. This has been brewing for a while. It's like they feel they're failing at whatever they do for a living. Like they don't want to fail. They don't want to uh, have you view them as failing in any way whatsoever. Your opinion is very important to this person. Yeah, this person um, is not the best communicator or listener. It's something that they need to learn if they want a stable relationship. Without proper communication, there's no relationship to speak of. So it's something they're going to have to learn how to do, how to communicate effectively, which also includes how to listen, because a great communicator is also a great listener, right? Let's see their subconscious position. They love you a lot. They really do. But you don't feel loved because of their behavior, uh, lack of communication, not listening to what you really have to say or listening with one ear only. They also questioning your feelings for them, whether you still love them or not. They're very curious, but they're not really asking. Universe, please show us directly, at least. Universe, please show us what's... Both of you are going through so much. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. Yeah, this person still loves you. Oh, they feel so heartbroken that this is breaking up. The worst card in the whole deck, three of swords, heartbreak, look. And this is very symbolic. They feel like you are disappointed and walking away from this relationship. They're very good at not expressing on the outside how they really feel, at hiding this heartbreak that they feel. Uh-oh, what is going on? So there's some kind of drama going on with their job.
for this to show up, it means something is something is off, something is going on with that job or finances or whatever it is that's going on. This is worrying me because this is um, a low vibration energy popping up here. Wow, it's like they feel like they married, like they have a personal relationship with the job. Yeah, there's a lot that they need to let go of, express, verbalize. Yeah, you guys really need to sit down and communicate face to face calmly in a calm manner. Yeah, you see, <clears throat> so <clears throat> this person is like in and out of this relationship. Yeah. Wait a minute. This is concerning this, this combination here next to each other, so closely to each other, the devil, the three of swords, um, my least favorite knight of all knights, knight of wands and the lovers, something is off. It's more than you think. There's something else going on. Hmm. That has nothing to do with the job. The magician. Oh my goodness. This is a lot of red flags over here. Yeah. A lot of red flags. I'm so sorry both of you are going through so much. Let me see what's going on here. You know what's please show us? Um, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries? Wow. <coughs> Sorry for sneezing. <laughs> it's like at times they feel maybe you don't feel they're good enough for you. They think that maybe you look down on them or feel like they're not good enough for this relationship. They feel like they're disappointing you. Yeah, this person doesn't want you to be disappointed. They want you to be proud of them, but they really need to communicate more effectively with you. Wow, this person loves you a lot, Aries. We're gonna go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this person, but also new soulmates popping up in your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you. Whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, <clears throat> including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your help, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.